Hey guys, welcome, welcome back. back. In this video, we'll be looking at the official Red Book of 2021. I'm going to give you a little overview of the book and what's in it, and maybe even how to use it. Now, in the first part of it, it's just, you know, title page about Heritage Auctions. Uh, I have no idea what any of this stuff means. Sure you do. You know how to look up a coin. Yeah, but you've never seen Contents, about shows you where everything's at so you could jump to it real quick. Then the beginning of it is welcome to numismatics. Welcome to coin collecting, of those of you who didn't know what numismatics meant. This first page, they actually tell you how to use the book. That's pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. Very tiny words, though. Yep. So you can barely, here, put it closer to my screen so they can read it. They can read it there, see? You this is the abbreviations commonly used in this book. Who's you on there? Who, you who's that? You, you a man. Yeoman. Yeoman? I don't know. R.S. Yeoman. Yeoman. He's one of the uh, ah. creators of this book. He's the author, isn't he? Yep, yeah, one of them. Isn't now this cool? is condition of coins. It actually tells you. Oh, sorry about that. Get it to focus here. Well, our camera is not working for us today. Everything's going wrong. It seems like. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just just trying to. It's fix okay. It. This here gives you the rundown of condition of coins. Here. Put it further so they can pause. Well, I'm just going to scroll real slow like this. It tells you the grades of coins. And... Or the condition of coins. Then more. Let me fix this a little bit. Here we go. Sorry about that, folks. Can I hold the book? No, I got it, because I'm going to be flipping here pretty quick. Can I flip it? Well, I'm going to be, going to be skipping pages. So this is tells you about the, the Depression in the South and Midwest, depression? private silver interests. Yeah. Like sad depression? This is mints and mint marks. Tells you about all the mints and mint marks. This camera is not focusing for nothing. But when tiny fingers touch it, it, it focuses. focuses. <laughs> You've got big fingers. I don't like my big fingers, I don't guess. <laughs> we'll skip a couple pages here. Tells you about some of the uh, The hordes and stuff like that, like the bank, the Bank of New York hoard in 1856, the Nicholas find of copper cents in 1859, Randall hoarding of copper cents. I'm just trying to help. Hang on. Find the Here, I want to go through the. Oh, okay. So it starts off with the colonial issues and their prices. Now the way you Look up a coin, is I'll show you here in a minute when we get to regular cents. Go through the colonial issues. And then it goes to the post-colonial issues. It goes into the half cents. Gives you all the prices of the half cents, and it gives you information between each different. There's a lot of good information in this book if you uh, if you want to read it from like cover to cover. There's a lot of good uh, information here about the early coins and stuff. You're not gonna flip through the whole book, are you? Yes, I am. Goes to the large cents. Gonna. This video is going to be very long. No, not really. And from large cents, it goes to the small cents. 
Now these are the ones that a lot of people deal with. Like this is where the the Lincoln wheat scents start. Now, to look Sorry. up a coin, let's say I have this one here that was a gift. From? I can't remember. Yeah, I lost either. the book that I wrote stuff down in. It's yeah, the 74 we, PBU. We those names in the so book. what we do we? is we look for the year 74. Okay, we're into the 50s here. Went too far. 60s. Okay, we're still going. Here's the 60s and the 70s. 70s. 74. It the last one on 70. It gives the mintage right down here. Sorry. Okay, it gives the mintage and the price at an MS-65. So at MS-65, it would be worth 30 cents. We have dropped the coin, haven't we? Yeah. From small cents, it goes to three cent pieces. From three cent pieces, it goes to half dimes, then to dimes, all the early dimes, the, the variety twos, the variety ones, no stars on the obverse, variety two with stars on the obverse, and we get into the Liberty Head or Barber Dimes. The Wing Liberty Head or Mercury Dime. And then we get into the Rosies, the Roosevelt Dimes. After the I Dimes. The, uh, coin. That's okay. After the Dimes the comes the quarter dollars, which is the quarters. All the early quarters. <coughs> this is a great, I want to say this now, this is a great roundabout price. Because you have to think, it's not even 2021 yet, and this is a 2021 book. So how are they going to know for sure what the price of a coin is in 2021, and here it is, June of 2020? This is going to give you like a baseline, like an idea of what the price is. So if it's worth, let's say this one right here, $150. Whoa. This, uh, I think that's a too high of a price. This 1950 D over S, $150. Now, you're not going to go out and get $150 for your coin. <clears throat> There's, it's just it's not just going an to happen. Example. It's right. It's more of an example. It's, it's like a guideline. Unless you have a real high end coin, yeah. like a D yeah. over S, for a, uh, extra fine 40. If you go all the way up here to MS sixty five, it's twenty nine hundred dollars. That's now, a lot of money. That's a lot of money. It sure is. But now these even more money than I, I don't want to say they're not real world prices, but they're not real world prices. There's no way that they can predict what the coin's going to be worth in the future. Maybe the unless this coins. unless this has not changed for two or three issues of this book. We've got the state quarters. Let's my glove over here. Got the District of Columbia and U.S. Territory quarters. And it's the beginning of it. Sorry about that, guys. After the quarter dollars, we go into the half dollars, the early half dollars, and then on up into the the barber or Liberty Head dollar half dollars, the Kennedys, 
This is an exciting spot. I really like this spot. The Franklins. We're already half. Love Franklins. Minutes. Yep, we sure are. And we've got five more minutes. This book is really easy to use, and the information that you can gain from this book is it's, a lot. Is like a little bit less than a million. What's well, a little less than a million? How much information is in there? I don't understand. How much it helps people. Oh, yeah. A million percent, I guess, is what you're trying to say. Yes. Is you can learn a lot. About. It even gold. has. Gold. Prices for. Gold like, coins. for instance, the 2014 W Gold 50th Anniversary Half Dollar. Are those kind of coins real gold? Yes, they are. Wow, we have gold coins, don't we? Yep, we got some gold coins. But they're not real gold. They're plated. Aww. They're not solid gold. That's, that's, then that's, it goes into the silver pretty. dollars. Silver and related dollars. So related means that you're also going to have the... Oh, and throughout the book, in certain instances, it'll show you like errors like this is a is a seven over six this is the 1888 o double die obverse which they call hot lips and you can see the doubling on her lips it'll actually show you a picture of it ike dollars look everybody bicentennials I like my centennial. But what's, what's your favorite coin? Drummer Boy. Yep. The Sacagawea dollars. The Presidential dollars. And then after that, go to the Quarter Eagles. Oh, nope, the Gold dollars first. Yep. Sorry, but this group And then the Quarter Eagles. After the quarter eagles comes the three dollar gold pieces, the four dollar gold or Stella coins, the half eagles, the eagles. I mean, it covers a lot of coins that you wouldn't think that they would cover, you know, United States coins. The double eagles commemoratives. It even covers commemoratives. Commemoratives. Like this, the first commemorative ever made. Hard to say, the, isn't it? The 1892 World Columbian Exposition coins, the 1892 and the 1893. I have both of those. Wow. And it tells how many were distributed. What the price would be at AU, MS, and so on. After commemoratives, we have. There's just thing out of a glove. Sorry. There's a lot of commemoratives. Proofs and mint sets. Tells you about all the proofs and mint sets from nineteen sixty from nineteen thirty six. I mean, the current value of a nineteen thirty six proof set is six thousand dollars. The well, issue price of it was a dollar eighty nine. If Which I had one, if I had one, I would keep it forever. The six thousand. Yep. I would sell it. More proof of mint sets. When you Silver bullion cubes. No, I don't think I would sell it. I think I'd keep it for four or five years and then try to sell it. I mean, we get a lot of money. Buy a new house. It's even got prices on the special mint sets. Or like there's a 1967 special mint set. 1967. Right now, the current value of it is $11. American bullion, silver bullion coins, gold bullion, 
lot of gold bullion in here. American Eagle Platinum Bullion Coins. The U.S. Patterns. The pattern pieces. The Private and Territorial Gold. The Philippines issues, the Hawaiian Puerto Rico issues. I mean, there are a lot of different coins in here. And in the back of it, it tells you about misstrikes and errors. So there's a whole bunch of information on those. And it, it gives you examples of the see like the clip planchets the multiple strike the blank planchets the defective die the off center over here we have the broad strike lamination errors uh, brockage wrong planchet and mint cancelled coins always found those to be interesting the mint cancelled coins Gives you prices of some of the uh, wrong planchet and misstruck and error pieces and stuff like that. And get this the red book as a collectible. So these are actually collectible books. And so you see, more. oh, there's a lot of them. This is the 74th edition. Is there 20, see all these white things? Are those 2022? These white things, not yet. These white things are what comes out of the book from where they punched the, the holes. So, basically, it's breaking each time you open it. No, not really. But, but little pieces, little pieces of paper are coming off. Like, if you yeah, had the 1947 the first edition, the first printing, it's $1,500. We'd sell that one. For a book like this. Yeah, I'd probably sell a book like this. Mm -hmm. No, seventeen thousand. I mean, seventeen hundred dollars. Yes. It gives you bullion values of silver coins. Top two hundred and fifty U.S. auction prices. Gives you the highest prices paid for certain coins. Gives you a glossary so you can look up what things mean. Uh, the bibliography of certain issues and stuff like that. Hey, Daddy. And the index. And that's it. And it gives you a deal in the back, like a $4.99 value free. So you could send this in and, uh, Get you 10 bonus web dollars and a statehood quarter uh, folder. And that's it. No post is necessary. How much, how long was this video? 18 minutes and 59 seconds. So well, 19 minutes. Mark. It's alright. The number one best selling book on coin prices. You can read all of that. Yeah. You have time. Hey, guess what happened? Nothing this was a little long, maybe a little confusing to some, but it's just like any other price guide. You find what you want to look for, like a penny, or the year, and then what the condition of the coin that you have would go for. You know what I would want? What would you want? Uh, I would probably, I would probably want... A uh, gold coin. Go, I yeah, would like to have some gold coin. coins as well. That would be really cool. Out of real gold. Yep, out of real gold. Sorry for such a long video. I hope this helped somebody out there. Some of you may have never seen a red book. Some or, of you may think I'm total uh, crazy. Or 
crazy the way I explained it, but that'll be okay. And weird. Yep, and weird. I'm definitely weird. Yes. If somebody Sorry. called me normal, I think I'd be offended. But I love each and every one of you. I hope this finds you guys safe and healthy. And you guys have a good day. And don't forget to check that pocket change. Because you never know what you got in your pocket. Until you look. See you guys.